What's up, everybody? It's me, Greg Miller, alongside my piece of Canadian bacon, Mitch Dyer. I love that so yeah, much. Yeah, I'm glad you like it so much. Good. Mitch! Yes, sir. May 21st, you're leaving IGN, and you're going somewhere. What are you yeah. doing? Well, I'm not leaving IGN, but I'm going to leave the building and go to, well, we'll see. I'm going to go to Washington, and I'm going to go to the event where the Xbox is being revealed. The, the new Xbox. next Xbox. The, the new generation of Xbox, as they're calling it. They're very careful to avoid the phrase next gen. Okay, okay. New generation. Well, this morning I was washing my hair, Mitch, and I was like, we got to get like kids ready yeah. for May 21st. What can kids do right now to get prepared for May 21st? And then I figured it out. Yeah. You and I can name three games they need to play to be ready for the event and explain why. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, buddy. Are you with yeah, me so yeah. far? All right, yeah. you want to go first? You want me to go first? I'll go first. All right, you go first. One of my favorite Xbox 360 games is an Xbox exclusive. Almost certain we're going to see something with this uh, in a sequel form at E3. Uh, play Alan Wake. Alan Wake mm. is like a really amazing survival horror thriller right. story. It's presented like an episodic series. It's very Twin Peaks. It's very weird. Lots of mystery. Lots right. of action. Lots of, lots of weird trees. supernatural stuff. You, know, you have that flashlight. Trees down, out the wazoo. Stop them. Stop them shadow people. Yeah. That game Why is, is it important to play it before May 21st? You know, maybe we're going to see a sequel, maybe not. But mm -hmm. Remedy is doing something. They're very, very cute about uh, what they're doing right now. And all signs point to something to do with Alan Wake. Whether or not it involves that character, I think they're go they're going to be doing something in that world. And okay. it's a weird world, and you should know all about it, because it's really interesting. Okay. Can't recommend that game enough. One of my picks, Mitch, yes, sir. is Geometry Wars. I love that game. Geometry Wars, everyone loves Geometry Wars. And I put it out there because Xbox Live really defined the 360 yeah. in this awesome arcade lineup that you can yeah. download and play. And Geometry Wars was that first game, I think, on the Xbox 360 that people were like, wow, like they yeah, freaked yeah. out. Everyone downloaded it, everyone played it, and it really showed what that first step could be for Xbox yeah. Live games. And so now, with a new system, obviously we're gonna be back to that old system of, what is this, what are we doing online? How, how are these games gonna fare, blah, blah, blah. But now you have this example of how good they can be. Totally, yeah. Uh, you should go back and play Fable 2. Mm. Or two, or three, or the original. The original is way better. Any of the Fables. <laughs> but you should be aware of Fable because I have a sneaking suspicion that whatever Lionhead is doing right now uh -huh. is a Fable MMO. Mm. They have a lot of listings mm. on their website for someone who knows MMO, who knows monetization, who knows free to play. Something in that realm really makes sense for them. Uh, Fable is a big world. Albion's a rich universe. There's a lot of characters, lots of stuff going on there that you can really capitalize on in, in a mul massively multiplayer online RPG. And it just rolls off your tongue <laughs> when you talk about it. Uh, my okay. second pick is totally a lame one and a no-brainer, but Halo. If for some reason you have an Xbox 360 and you haven't been playing all these yeah. Halo games, you need to play Halo 3, any of the Bungie yeah, Halos, yeah, yeah. right? So that you understand what Destiny means going forward, what this developer can do and what the, the caliber of products they put on. Destiny obviously came out at PS3's event. I'd be it's gonna if it's not at the Xbox event, it's going to be at a three in some respect. They're gonna totally, Xbox yes. and Microsoft are gonna double yep. down on the fact that Bungie is still an Xboxy studio. This yep. is what we need from them. My cheap answer is uh, Forza. Play any mm. of the Forza games. That's like a definitive Xbox game, right? The Xbox launched with Forza. Uh, the Xbox 360 saw some like really amazing Forza entries. It's a, it's the definitive sim racing on Xbox 360, or for that platform as a whole. It's been going since 2001. And I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. I think whatever Turn 10 is doing now, after Forza Horizon last year, which was developed by this whole other studio, Forza 5 will probably be like the, that'll be like the game you look at and you're like, wow, look at this like pornographic sure, visuals on the is, next right. Xbox set. Like this is what's going to define visually what this thing is capable of out yeah. of the game. And my final pick is, and don't hate me for this one, stick with me, don't click off the video yet, Sesame Street, Once Upon a Monster. Why? Because Kinect is going to be a big part of yes. the next Xbox. Supposedly built into the system. Exactly. Or into the box. Whether you like it or not, that Kinect's going to have something to do with this next Xbox. And Sesame Street is an awesome example of how yeah. it works, right? That you Here's a game for kids, it, it designed from the ground up to be something specific. These weren't tacked on controls, this isn't something being forced on you. This yeah. is, do you have children? They'd love to play this game and interact with Cookie Monster and be with Elmo and have this whole narrative unfold for them. Alternative, Connect, uh, Connect Party by Double Fine. Also a really good Connect game. No, I don't like Double Fine games. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, whole bunch of Xbox coverage here on IGN. Leading up to the big day, May 21st, yes. Mitch will be there. Yes. Ryan McCaffrey is going to be running this whole crazy-ass live show, pre and post and all those jazz with Damon Hatfield. I might stop in to yell beyond a few times. Uh, stick with us to find out what the next generation is all about. Beyond.